Hey guys, just wanted to take a minute to show you my micro FPV plate. Um, first thing I'll talk about is uh, this frame. It's the Phoenix Flight Gear um, 110 millimeter frame. It's carbon fiber. Um, the thing that's really cool about this frame is uh, so you have the top section of the frame uh, where you can mount all your motors and flight controller and things. And then you have these two stands, and uh, it actually leads to this little uh, plate which is kind of like a bottom plate. Um, so what I really like about this is you can put um, all your FPV gear on this. Um, and so what I have is a Banggood uh, 600 TVL uh, 170 degree camera. Um, it's like $9 and I'm really really surprised with the video quality that comes out of this. Um, the next thing I have is the Boss Cam uh, 400 microwatt transmitter. It's 5.8 gigahertz. I've seen really good range with that. It pulls about. Um, I run it off one lipo, uh, one S lipo, so it pulls about 500 milliamps um, at about 3.5 volts. So it it does use a lot of bit a lot of power, but um, I've seen really good range with it. it. Gets a little bit warm, but that's okay. It's got a lot of uh, prop wash to cool it off. Um, and then I have uh, this uh, micro cloverleaf antenna, which uh, is almost a, ne uh, a complete need when you're trying to fly FPV. Uh, you don't want to use the uh, standard linear antennas. Um, I have a Palulu 5 volt um, step down, step up regulator to try to filter out some of the noise. Um, I did get um, some noise in my video still, but. Um, I actually found that uh, with using a, spe a specific battery type, um, this uh, 750 milliamp nanotech battery has uh, two leads. So uh, this Wakara lead actually connects to my um, to the FPV plate, and then this JST connector connects to my quadcopter. And uh, when connecting each of those there um, separately, I know it's running off the same battery, but um, it actually helped a lot with the filtering and the noise in the videos so I only get a little bit when the battery gets a little bit lower um, but yeah this uh, FPV play is really cool um, it's super light lightweight and strong and uh, these parts for Banggood are absolutely phenomenal um, it even has built-in audio which is the you know one of the best parts about it so you can actually hear uh, RPMs of your motors or if something goes on wrong while you're flying because you can't always hear your quadcopter when it's right next to you um, yeah, so the really cool thing about this, let me just uh, show you a little bit, um, try to get this so the camera won't fall over, but uh, this plate um, hooks right on um, to the frame like this. And so you can see, I won't screw it in, but there's two screws that mount it in, and you can see it just fits perfectly um, in between, and everything fits really nicely, and then you can actually get a slight... Um, the camera tilts up slightly so when you're flying really fast forward you can actually see um, in the air and not just uh, the ground but uh, yeah I've really enjoyed um, this FPV plate I'm actually looking forward to actually just put it on other quads um, I have a U807 that I'm looking to put this on uh, a little bit bigger quad and uh, it'll give a little bit more um, performance with it uh, being weighted down so I'll uh, Look forward to posting that video soon. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the gear um, or about any of my other videos. Uh, just uh, give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you have the chance. Thanks, guys.